We are going on with our series on complex numbers. In this video, we are given an equation and we also have a trinomial as a factor to this equation. Now, what it means is that if I divide this expression by the factor, that factor would divide exactly into this expression, meaning it will have a remainder of zero. So our first set of brackets would be x squared plus 2x plus 3. And we want to figure out the second set of brackets. And we will use long division to do that. So we have x to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 9. And we are going to divide that expression by the factor of x squared plus 2x plus 3. Now, when we do long division, we take our first term and divide it by our first term in our factor. So x to the power of 4 divided by x squared would be equal to x squared. Now we take that result and multiply it with every term in the factor. So x squared times x squared is equal to x to the power of 4. Then x squared times 2x would be equal to plus 2x cubed. And then x squared times 3 would be equal to plus 3x squared. And then we need to subtract this result from our original expression. So x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is 0. Then 4x cubed minus 2x cubed is equal to 2x cubed. And then 4x squared minus 3x squared is equal to x squared. And we simply bring down the 9 because we are subtracting 0. Now I repeat that process again. So I have 2x cubed and I divide it by my first term of x squared. And that result is simply plus 2x. Now we have already looked at the impact of our first term. So we take the second term of 2x and multiply it with every term in our factor. So 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times 2x is simply 4x squared. Then we have 2x times 3x, which is plus 6x. So again, we would subtract this result from the result which we had before. But we need to be careful because 9 is a constant value and it's standing over 6x. So it might be helpful to move the 9 a little bit towards the right. So if I subtract 2x cubed from 2x cubed, I have 0. x squared minus 4x squared is equal to negative 3x squared. Then 0x minus 6x is minus 6x. And negative 9 minus 0 is simply negative 9. Now I repeat that process one more time. I take negative 3x squared and I divide it by x squared and that answer is negative 3 and I multiply negative 3 with every term in the factor which is negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 9 and I subtract this result from our previous result so negative 3x squared plus 3x squared 0 minus 6x plus 6x becomes 0 and minus 9 plus 9 becomes 0 so there's no remainder. So there we have shown that x squared plus 2x plus 3 is a factor to this expression. That means that we can take our original expression and rewrite it as x squared plus 2x plus 3 times x squared plus 2x minus 3, which is the result of our long division. And now we have an expression which we can factor further. So we notice there are no factors of 3 that will allow us to factor this trinomial. But we can rewrite this trinomial by completing the square. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared minus 1 squared plus 3, closing the bracket, where the plus 1 squared is half of the coefficient of x squared. And then we can look at our second set of brackets, which is a trinomial which we can factor as x plus 3 times x minus 1 equal to 0. So now we just need to focus on this little bit of a mess which we have created here. We know that when we complete the square, that the first three terms would be a perfect square. 
So that will result in x plus 1 squared. And then minus 1 plus 3 is simply plus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 1 equal to 0. Now I can still continue to factor this expression by rewriting plus 2 as negative 2i squared, where i squared is equals to negative 1. Now I can continue to factor this expression, and that will be x plus 1 minus the square root of 2i times x plus 1 plus the square root of 2i times x plus 3 times x minus 1 equal to 0. So to find the values of x that will satisfy this equation, I set each of these brackets equal to 0. That leads to x equals to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 2i, or x can be equal to negative 3, or x can be equal to positive 1. So we have four possible solutions for this equation. And remember, originally we were given a factor to this expression, and we used long division to create our second set of brackets. And from there, we followed the normal steps, as in previous videos, to find the values of x.